nothing invokes awe in a person's soul like a titanic beast. In fact, we like the idea of huge towering creatures so much, we decided to make movies about it, and even though most of these movies show colossal sized kaijus, in nature this can kind of happen as well, not to the extent of Godzilla and Cloverfield, but still to staggering sizes, like the blue whales of today, and the topic of this video, which is the megatheropods, nature's largest land carnivores to ever exist. In this video we're going to present all the current megatheropods we know today. For this we'll go through 5 tiers, with 1 star being the lowest and smallest, and 5 stars being the highest and the biggest. But before we start, I think I should first say what we're going to class a megatheropod as, and the requirements to be classed as a megatheropod in this video is pretty simple. The dinosaur has to be a theropod, and it has to weigh a minimum of 5,000 kilos or 11,000 pounds. As well, hypothetical sizes will be taken into account, meaning if one dinosaur has a hypothetical size of 11 tons, but it also has a more credible size of only 8 tons, I'll be going with the 8 ton size. First moving into our tiers, we have our 1 star dinosaurs, and these are the smallest of the megatheropods. In size, they range from 5 to 6 tons, meaning they're about the same weight as an African elephant. And if I'm honest, that's kind of scary, considering these are the smallest of the megatheropods, meaning the large ones get to truly titanic sizes. First we have Torvosaurus carinii. This megalosaurid roamed Jurassic Europe, and got to sizes of 10.4 metres in length, and 5 tons in weight, meaning it classes a megatheropod by the skin on its teeth. And although it was small in size when compared to other megatheropods, for its environment it was the apex predator, with it preying on classic Jurassic dinosaurs like Ceratosaurus, Allosaurus, Camptosaurus, and possibly Stegosaurus. Moving up, we have a relatively new discovery, which is Tamiraptor. This theropod was recently named in the early half of 2025, and measured at 10.6 metres in length, and 5.2 tons in weight, but its placement on the list in my opinion will 100% change in the future, because the evidence we're basing this placement off is only a photograph, and the reason why we're using a photograph instead of the actual fossils is because the fossils are destroyed, which means once we do eventually find some more fossil evidence, Tiberaptor is 100% going to change on the placement. Next on the list is another Torvosaurus. Torvosaurus tannerai is a North American Torvosaurus, which measured at 11.4 metres in length, and 5.2 tons in weight. Although it was larger than its European counterpart, surprisingly it didn't have the same role as Apex Predator, and instead was preyed on by a larger theropod, which we'll get to later in the video. But nonetheless, Tarvosaurus tannerai is still an impressive dinosaur. Moving up again, we get onto our next dinosaur, which is Tarbosaurus batar. This Asian megatheropod is only the first of many, but this tyrannosaur specifically had a very on and off relation with the megatheropod classification. But thankfully, because of up-to-date data, we can validly place Tyrannosaurus in the megatheropod tier, at 10.5 metres in length and 5.3 tonnes in weight. As well, Tyrannosaurus was an incredible generalist carnivore, with it taking on ankylosaurs, hadrosaurs, some theropods, and even sauropods. Zhusheng Tyrannus is another Tyrannosaur located in Asia, and although it does look remarkably similar to Tyrannosaurus in appearance, in size it's also pretty similar at 10.5 metres in length and 5.3 tonnes in weight. The only real difference we can remarkably see apart from the name between the two is the skull shape, with Zhucheng having a slightly smaller skull than Tabo. Another thing that makes it similar to Tabosaurus is its diet. As well as taking on sauropods, hadrosaurs and ankylosaurs, it also took on the largest non-sauropod dinosaur to ever exist, which is Shantungosaurus. After Zhucheng we have our first Spinosaurid, which is Oxalia. This megatheropod is incredibly fragmentary in fossil material, and sadly, it's not going to be the last one that's fragmentary on the list. At 11.54 metres in length, and 5.4 tonnes in weight, this is definitely one of the larger dinosaurs we have on the list. But that size is very much up for debate, considering the fossil evidence we have for this is lacklustre at best, and disrespectful at worst. Acrocanthosaurus is definitely one of my favourite dinosaurs, with a respectable weight and size, at 5.4 tons and 11.54 meters respectively. Also, like Tarbosaurus and a couple others, Acrocanthosaurus hunted a variety of prey, such as Tenotosaurus, Prechonodon, Astrodon, and possibly Sauroposidon. And the last dinosaur we have in the one star category is Therizinosaurus. This dinosaur, funnily enough, was once believed to be a turtle, but as it turns out, these turtle ribs were actually huge claws on the end of its fingers. In size, this dinosaur is easily the largest, at 9.5 metres in length, it does leave some room for improvement, but its weight at 5.5 tonnes makes it one of the heaviest so far, and as well, it's also one of the tallest megatheropods to exist, as a height of 5 metres. 
Now moving on to the two star dinos, the size range increases from 6 to 7 tons in weight. And first we have Taurovenator. This South American Chicronosaurid reached 10.6 meters in length and 6.1 tons in weight, which already shows the difference in size between the tiers, with there being over a half a ton difference between the smallest and the largest of both tiers. Moving up in the tier, we get to one of the coolest named dinosaurs to exist, aka Meraxis Gigas. This dinosaur is named after a dragon from the Song of Ice and Fire, and I'll be honest, the dinosaur definitely does its name justice. At 11.6 meters in length and weighing 6.5 tons, it is indeed very dragon-like in size. Next we have a very mysterious dinosaur some could say, and that's Allosaurus Anax. This dinosaur has had a very complicated history, filled with arguments and conflicting beliefs. But one thing we can say for certain is that Anax was around 12.8 meters in length and near 6.5 tons in weight, which made it the apex predator of its environment, where it preyed upon many different dinosaurs like stegosaurs, sauropods, some ornithopods, and most importantly, the megatheropod Torvosaurus tanneri. And then finishing off the two star dinos, we have Mapusaurus. At 11.9 meters in length and 6.9 tons in weight, this dinosaur alone is a tough foe. But if you know anything about Mapusaurus, you know what I'm going to say next. And that is, Mapusaurus is highly likely to be a pack hunting carnivore, meaning several elephant sized carnivores could be working together in tandem to bring down prey. Moving into the three star dinos, size starts to get a bit crazy with these titans weighing 7 to 8 metric tons. But the amount of megatheropods found in the upper tiers actually decreases as size increases. And first on the list for the three star dinosaurs is a bizarre dinosaur called Dinochirus. At 12 meters in length and 7.1 tons, this is the largest Asian megatheropod, but also possibly the weirdest. With it living a mostly omnivorous lifestyle with it eating fish and watery vegetation, it definitely does its name justice of it being the dinosaur duck. Next in the three star category, and also the last dinosaur in the three star category, is Tyranno Titan, aka the Tyrant Titan, which in my opinion is possibly the coolest name a dinosaur could ever get. And at 11.6 meters in length and 7.4 tons in weight, it definitely does its name justice. Now moving on to the four star dinosaurs, we start to see the pinnacles of dinosaur evolution, with these creatures weighing 8 to 9 tons, meaning all the dinosaurs in this tier are the same in mass as two Indian elephants. And first in this group is Carcharodontosaurus, this beautifully underrated megatheropod measured at 12.9 meters in length and weighed 8.2 tons. Sadly though, for such a large and impressive dinosaur, we have remarkably very little information on it, with the only confirmed remains being a partial skull along with some teeth and a lone vertebrae. So although the evidence is rather lacking to say the least, I still think we can safely place it in the 4 star category. Next in this tier we have the most nerfed dinosaur in history, or at least that's what some people would say, and that is Spinosaurus. At 14.7 meters in length and 8.3 tons in weight, it might not be the T-Rex swaying titan it once was, but with its impressive size, it's still an incredible dinosaur in my opinion. And the last dinosaur in the 4 star category is a relatively new discovery, and that's Tyrannosaurus macrensis. This North American Tyrannosaur was found in New Mexico in 2024, and in size we can estimate it at 12 meters in length and 8.5 tons in weight. As well, sadly like all the other 4 star dinosaurs, it continues the trend of having very fragmentary and crappy fossil remains, with macrensis only being known for a partial skull which means it's quite hard to try and find a good size estimate for it when you have just a singular bone. But this estimate of 12 meters in length and 8.5 tons in weight seems the most valid so far, so that's the one I'll be using today. Now moving up into our final tier, we have the 5 star dinosaurs. These colossal beasts weigh more than 9 tons, meaning at a minimum these guys would weigh the same as 20 polar bears stacked on top of each other, or the same as 3 Indian elephants. So from that analogy, you can quite easily see what type of dinosaurs we're dealing with. And first, we have Giganotosaurus. This dinosaur is effectively the endgame boss. At 12.7 meters in length and 9.1 tons, it's easily the undisputed apex within its home of South America. And as if this beast couldn't get any cooler, it's also highly likely that it brought down titanic sauropods, which as we can guess, would be no easy feat. And last but definitely not least, the largest megatheropod is to no one's surprise the Tyrant Lizard King, Tyrannosaurus Rex. If Giga was the endgame boss of Dinosaur Evolution, T-Rex would be that one DLC boss, buffed to all eternity and made almost unbeatable. In length, this Titan measures at 12.7 meters and weighs a whopping 10.5 tons. And the scariest part 
is our grasp on what we know T-Rex as is always changing, meaning it's very likely the true T-Rex is nowhere near this size. And just as an example, to look at a hypothetical size which it could obtain, let's have a look at Goliath. Although it's still quite new and possibly not very valid, but if the estimates were correct, this can be over 30 meters in length and just under 13 tons in weight. Which I do admit is incredible with the size estimates, showing truly what a dinosaur could obtain, but just remember we're not going to be including the guy in the list because he's hypothetical, and instead we're going to be going for the more likely sizes of 12.7 meters and 10.5 tons. And finally I can say this is my completed mega theropod list. In the future this will obviously change because that's how paleontology works, but for now I'm pretty solid in my opinion this is the definitive list. So finally if you have enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe if you're feeling generous, but other than that thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.